Hey friends, my name is Z, and you're watching Z Makes It Easy. And welcome to a new video for IGCC at Bat. And today, we have questions for permutations and combinations, or perms and comps, or counting strategies. And we looked into the rules and examples last video already. So if you haven't checked it out, just check out my YouTube channel or check it out in my description. And before we get into it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And let's do some questions from Dr. Frost Matt. So number one, we have Amita and some friends want to have a meal in the restaurant. And here's the main course and dessert that Amita wants to choose. One main course and one dessert. So write down all the possible combinations that, that she can choose. The first one is done for you. So we have one main course and three dessert that we can link to, like one, two, three. So the first one will be chicken and fruit, which is already written. The second choice would be chicken and eclair, and then C, chicken and truff, uh, trifle, and so on. So C, F, C, E, and C, T. And then for lamb, it will be the same, lamb and fruit, lamb and eclair, and lamb and truff, trifle. Right, so, in question 2, there are 24 girls and 12 boys in the club. One girl and one boy are going to be chosen to go on a meeting. Work out the number of ways of choosing a boy and a girl. So the way to do this is you can just do like one and one, be one girl and one boy. So how many girls can be fitted in here? There are 24 girls can be fitted in one spot, so 24C1. And the order doesn't really matter because 24C1 is the same as 24P1 in terms of the value you get out, which is just 24. So you can do 24C1 times, there are 12 boys, so 12C1. So 24C1 times by 12C1, you get 288, and that's the answer, 288. And question 3, Mary has 25 cards and each card has a symbol, different symbol, and Mary gives one card to Shelly and one card to Pauline. In how many ways can she do it? So let's just set this as Shelly and want this as Pauline. So 25 cards. We can just do 25C1. You can give it to Shelly because there are 25 cards and you can give her one randomly. So 25C1. There will be times by something C1. Let's just have a think. Once you've given one card to Shelly, when you originally has 25 cards, once you've given out one card, you have 24 cards left, right? So it will be 24C1, not 25, because you've already given out one card. So 25C1 times 24C1, it will be 600. So there are 600 ways. So one thing to note is that when you have any like C like permutations one and combinations one like C1 or P1, the values give the same value. So it doesn't really matter if this is C or P, it's the same. So question four, there are 95 girls and 87 boys in year 13 at the school. One girl is going to be head, uh, head girl, one girl is going to be deputy head girl, head boy and deputy head boy. So there are four possible values. So head girl, Deputy, head girl, head boy, and deputy head boy. And tell about different for this boys and girls. So there, there are ninety five girls. For the, so for the first possible choice, it will be ninety five C one times by the deputy. Remember from just now, we like the Pauline the cards. Once you've given out one card, i.e., once you've chosen one head girl, there'll be one less girl left. So 95 minus 1 will be 94 girls. So deputy head girl will have 94 to choose from. They were timed by head boy, 87 boys, 87 C1, times by deputy head boy. Once you've chosen a head boy, you'll get one less choice for a boy. So you'll be 86 C1. So notice when you minus, 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 minus. And if you times 95 C1, times 95, any, uh, sorry. If you times 25C1, times 24C1, times 87C1, times 86C1, you will get a big number of 66,814,260. So 66814260. And remember, this can be either P or C because it's just C1. 
and then we have question 5. Uh, there are 12 boys and 10 girls in David's class. David's going to pick the like, the 3 different students from this order. And how many different lists can David write? So there are two choices, right? This or this. The keyword is or. So basically this number 1 and number 2, they are both different elements because it's an or, not an n. So the or is a keyword for a plus. So let's look at the first one. It will be boy, girl, boy. Uh, boy, girl, boy. Plus, girl, boy, girl. Girl, boy, girl. Equals. So there are 12 boys. So for the first choice for boys, it will be 12. C1. Or in simply, it'll, because 12 C1, or like 12 P1, it's the same. It'll just be 12, it'll just be the number. So let's just save time by not writing the C1. So it'll be 12 times by the second boy. And as we said just now, once you've given out one boy to choose from the first option, the second option will have one less boy. So the first boy here will have 12, and the third boy here, or the second boy, will have 11. And the girl will still remain 10. Because you see, there's 12 boys and 10 girls. 12, 11, and a 10. And then that will plus by girl, boy, girl. And the logic will be flipped. Because there will be 10 girls times by once a girl has been chosen, the second one will have one less girl, which is 9. And the boy will be 12. So it will be 12 times 10 times 11 plus 10 times 12 times 9, which will get us 2, 4, 0, 0 ways. And then we have question 6. There are 17 men and 26 women in the choir, and you're going to sing the concert. So two of the men are going to be chosen and make a random pair to sing the song. The second song, how many pairs can be chosen? So let's just set this as a pair. So there are 17 men. So we have to decide whether to choose permutations or combinations, P or C. Oops, or C. Let's say, hmm, I don't know what to choose. Just think to yourself. Let's say person A and person B in the choir in the pair to sing the second song. Will person A and person B be the same as person B and person A if they were to sing? And the answer is yes, because they'll still be the same two people. And the order, or the order doesn't matter. Or it doesn't matter, right? Doesn't matter. Oops, doesn't matter. That means from this key thing, we know that it's combination. So 17 men to 2 seats, 17 C2. If you put into a calculator, it will be, let's write out, 17 C2. It will be 136. So there are 136 pairs. And then moving on to the, to the last question, we have either line or five light bulbs, each can be turned on or off. How many different possibles, possibilities are there? So that's one of the basic counting principles. So each light has five options, sorry, each light has two options, right? Two options, two. And then there are five ways to do it. Two to the power of five. So it would be equals to 32, and that's it, 32. So another way to think about it is that, let's see here, the, fir the first bulb, you can, you can either have on or off, two options, right? On or off. So two options. Times by the second bulb, it's on or off as well. Times two, times two, times two, times two, which is the same as two to the power of five, which is 32. And that's the final answer. And that's it for this short video for questions for permutations and combinations. And I hope you'll find it useful and helpful. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And if you have any more questions for perms and comms, you can leave it in the comment section and I'll reply to them or you can email me them. And check out my social media in the description, for example, LinkedIn or Instagram. And if you need any learning resources or any teaching resources, just check it out in my description in my like, website. Or you can type it out in your browser at www.emailseasy.com And I hope you'll find it useful and helpful and I'll see you all in your next video which will be rules and examples for binomial theorem which will be interesting. But until then, stay safe and happy learning.